What up YouTube, it's your boy Savio, back again with another reaction video and today we are doing a brand new league video. It is called Warriors and it is the season 2020 cinematic. As you guys know, I, I don't play league so I have no idea what that means, but I'm interested to see it. This is the first video that I've seen that like immediately after it came out, I was pretty close on the true damage video the giants song but this one just just came out so i'm excited i obviously haven't heard it anywhere i haven't seen it yet so i'm interested to see um i mean from a visual standpoint what they what they're doing in this one there's some blonde chick on the thumbnail so maybe she's the main character of this one so far i've been super impressed visually with the all of the stuff that riot has put out that i have reacted to so far on the channel i've also liked quite a few of their songs i actually listen to some of the songs on my way to work or just like in my playlist or whatever some of their songs are really really great some of them are just good regardless i want to see where this falls within the pack so without further ado let's get into this thing So, so far, we just have, uh, as far as the melody, we have like a little like orchestral violin section. We have some backing atmospheric sounds, as well as uh, what sounds to be a female singer who has a ton of reverb on her vocals. If you don't know what reverb is, it's basically like electronic echo noise is the best way I can describe it. Reverb is the sound that that echoes in a particular space and you can you know now with technology you can add a sp specific spaces reverb to something so you can sing a song in the studio and add the amount of echo that would be on it if you sang it in an amphitheater or a bathroom or a garage like it there's there's a million different types of reverbs um but this particular person's vocals has a ton of reverb on it and that paired with the atmospheric vibe of it gives a very like emotional and intimate feel it's almost like someone is is talking to you If he can teleport, why didn't he just teleport, like, out of the room? Like, in, instead of teleporting down the steps, why didn't you teleport? I, I don't know these characters, guys. So you're going to have to explain this to me in the comment section. Because I don't understand why... Like, even if he needs to see where he's teleporting to, like... Um, ah, what is his name? Nightcrawler from X-Men. He has to see where he's teleporting to. That guy i think that's a guy could clearly see that that was closing on him like indiana jones and he sh should have just teleported out because now he about to get ate on by all the the spider people <laughs> uh -oh. i like her Ooh. Ooh. good luck Oh. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, pairing the drum section with the punches. Mm, yes. This feels a lot like a trailer for a movie. They do that a lot in trailers. One very good example 
for a movie that uh, apparently the entire nerd community hates is Suicide Squad. If you watch the trailer for Suicide Squad, the way they pair the song, which I believe is Bohemian Rhapsody, but don't don't quote me on that, with the actual video is is genius. I mean, it's, depending on who you ask, it may be better than the actual movie itself. But this, they are pairing what is happening in the music sonically with what's happening in the actual um, cinematic piece. But as far as the music, a choir came in and it sounds not like a church choir. There are different choirs, again, that you can use um, when composing songs. It doesn't sound like a church choir. It sounds more like, like a children's choir. And it gives like a, a kind of ominous feel to the whole piece because choirs are only used in one of two scenarios to uplift you or to creep you out and um this isn't exactly uplifting Ooh. Kiss Mike. Uh oh. What does that mean? She looks scared. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, so now, um, as things started to pick up and basically everybody wanted to smoke. Um, this, the music came in with the drum section hitting heavy. I mean, hitting hard. While you have basically like hums in the background, it sounds again like the choir with lots of reverb and the atmospheric noises in the background humming almost. And it just, it's so emotional and it adds to almost the sentimentality of what's going on in the piece. And to me, it's pretty clear that this is closer to a score for a movie than it is a music video. And I say that to say that, say Giants, the, the True Damage video that came out I don't know, a couple months ago, that was a song that they had that they then created a digital music video to. This isn't like that. This is more, they had this beautiful piece of art and they brought someone in to compose to what is happening. And that happens a lot with musical scores in movies where the music is added in post, AKA after the movie has been filmed. They shot all the scenes, the actors have gone home and while the movie is being edited, they then send it to a composer like Hans Zimmer, who is a god, by the way, and they add music to the piece to help communicate and or add extra emphasis to whatever is going on in each individual scene. And this, this is what this is doing. This isn't, this isn't a song that you would necessarily listen to on the radio. This is, it's a musical score. I, I mean, I don't know how else to put it. No! Oh, I mean, duh. Of course you can take it off. Oh, he about to die. Oh, he about to die. I can see it in his face. He's like, tell my mama I love her. But, I mean, she, she looked like she getting in the hero pose from, from Deadpool. Hero landing! So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, she getting eight on.
Okay, what, what in the hell? What is that? She just summon some archangel? Like, how? She, that, she, that was somebody else's weapon. Okay, that was, that ending section where she like levitates and it spins was super cool. But, but how? Like, how? please, in the comment section below, explain this to me. Because she went from, from some random goon was about to cut her head off until old boy, you know, trucked him to she, like, telekinetically pulled the weapon towards her and turned into Master Yugwe and just, like, had it, had it spinning and was about to go full Doctor Strange on them. So, like, did I miss something? Is, is that... Cause you just inherit people's abilities. I I I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah, that was yeah yeah. So that was man, that was that was really really good. I mean, they're starting the new decade off strong with that one. That I get why they put cinematic in the title because that was cinematic and. It was very different than than the other league videos I've reacted to. I think the closest one I I could equate it to would probably be the Rise video because both of these tell a story, not necessarily just show a song or introduce you know skins to. I mean, these might be new skins for these characters. I'm sure you guys would tell me down in the comment section below. But yeah, that was intense. That was powerful. We had all types of storylines going um i don't even know what to say i i expected coming into that for that to be some music video for me to break down but really it was just an experience and so i enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed it too if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this if you have any other league videos or any other videos in general that you would like me to react to definitely make sure to leave them in the comment section down below and i'll be seeing you guys next time